A useful feature that is available on Cortex-M based microcontrollers is statistical profiling. In order to be able to use statistical profiling, you need a compatible device and debug interface. In my case, I have a TM4C123 uh, Cortex M4 based microcontroller, and I have an XDS200 debug probe. Now, with the XDS200, I need to make sure that I have enabled serial wire output. So I open my target configuration file, I select the line for the debug probe. And the last line here is I have to enable serial wire debug with serial wire output enabled. The instrumentation trace module is the feature of the device um, that captures the trace data. And in this case, that data is sent over the serial wire output interface. So that has to be selected. Now I can launch my debug session. Here my program is loaded and uh, ready to run. Before I do that, I go to Tools, Hardware Trace Analyzer, and I select Statistical Function Profiling. Uh, in this case, the transport type, so the way I'm getting the data, is automatically set up uh, for serial wire output. Um, in my case, the tools are able to determine uh, the clock frequency automatically for this device, so I don't need to do anything else. And I can just cl click Start. You'll see it's opened a couple more views down here at the bottom. Uh, one just logs all the trace data, and the other one is showing the uh, statistical function profiling. Now I run the application. Um, for statistical profiling, typically you want to run for a longer period of time in order to capture more data, because basically what it's doing is it's sampling the program counter at an interval, and then when it's doing the analysis, it goes and looks at that program counter and figures out what function you are in at that point in time. So it's displaying the data here down at the bottom. Um, depending on how long you ran for, it may take a while uh, before all that data is actually displayed. So let's make some of these columns bigger. Um, this represents uh, the function where the program counter is located, and basically it's counting. So we can sort this, and you know, 264,000 times when it sampled the program counter, it was in the function main. Uh, in this case, it's, there's a while loop in, in the function, so it's spending most of its time there. Uh, but for your own application, you can get a better idea where you're spending the most amount of time. So this is a, a simple and quick way to get some profiling data on real hardware.